Welcome back. Well, this month marks six years of this Total OS Today channel. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. What started off as a hobby has grown into something much more. It's grown into a, well, a community of people like yourselves. I started this channel over six years ago because at the time I was dissatisfied with the amount of quality information about Linux for new users. Of course, a lot of that has changed now. There is a lot of good information on YouTube. But I wanted to do this uh, video, and this may turn out to be a weekly thing, updates about the channel and news in general. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. I received a very nice, humbling, private message from a subscriber, and I will share that with you at the end of this. But let's go to some quick news of the week real quick. Of course, the big news this week had to be uh, with Ubuntu and the uh, AMD drivers. If you are if you are planning to upgrade to Ubuntu 16.04, well, and you have AMD drivers, AMD cards, AMD graphics, um, no, apparently don't do that because there will not be applicable drivers, at least not the FGLE, FGLRX drivers, I guess those are probably not going to work. The open source drivers, you should be okay, maybe. However, if you are into heavy graphics or a gamer, you may want to hold off upgrading to Ubuntu 16.04, at least waiting six months from now, maybe a year from now. I currently use both, you know, of course, Windows, which is not affected, and I use Ubuntu 14.04. Of course, there is nothing preventing you from installing the latest Ubuntu in a, a virtual machine or if you have a spare machine. So probably in my situation, um, one of my machines actually has Intel graphics, so hopefully I will be okay. But be aware if you are using well a computer with AMD graphics and you upgrade to Ubuntu 16.04 you are probably going to have a few problems so you may want to hold off alright so the other big news the last couple weeks or so was the news about the Linux Mint website of course you know it was hacked not a good thing I think the whole news about that has been blown out of proportion I have trust Linux Mint in the past and I will continue to trust Linux Mint is strictly my opinion However, you may want to, if I may suggest, take a look at a wonderful conversation I did with Quidzup, all the way from the UK. Hello, Quids. We talked a little bit about uh, the Mint website. We talked a little, about, a little bit about security, and we give you a fantastic tip on passwords. But you'll have to take a look at the video. All the links will be below in the show notes. And yes, some of you suggested more with me and Quidzup. I'll be happy to do more discussion with um, Quidzo. Well, speaking of conversations, last month I did a fantastic interview, in my opinion, with singer-songwriter Stephanie Forian. She was voted the March YouTuber of last year. Uh, she uses exclusively, let's see, yeah, she uses, I'm just looking at my notes here, she uses exclusively Mac products. So you may want to take a listen to that. It's something different. Not so much technology, but an insight into the life of a, a singer-songwriter um, from the USA, but recorded her album in Germany. So, something different for the channel. And finally, a couple polls out. Uh, make sure to voice your opinion. Should the government force Apple to unlock the iPhone? A lot of you are saying no. I would tend to agree about that one. Also, the poll vote for the March YouTuber for this month, March of 2016. And one last thing before I get into that very special comment. Someone asked about how to donate to the channel. There are several ways that you can support the channel. One of the most popular ways is, of course, PayPal. Uh, YouTube makes it easy. Just click the support button here on YouTube. And since a lot of you watch YouTube, that might be the easiest way. That all depends on how you want to do it. Of course, just by uh, subscribing and sharing the channel also helps out uh, keeping this channel going, as it were. But yes, you can always use um, PayPal um, 
Patreon is another way, of course. I don't really follow Patreon as much. In fact, I redid that Patreon page. I deleted or changed it. Uh, those of you who uh, supported me in the past, thank you. But to answer that question, how to donate, I guess PayPal or just uh, you know, click the support button here on YouTube. All right, so let's get to that very, very uh, special comment that was very humbling. It's from someone that I hope I get uh, that person's name right. Forgive me if I don't, but let's take a look at that uh, real quick. All right, this is from uh, Tajud Din, and I hope I say that right. If I don't, I am so sorry. He says, Dear Sir, I love your channel. Your videos are brilliant. It's like you are giving someone personal uh, tuition. I guess he means uh, personal tutoring. I have learned a lot from your videos, and after being a Windows uh, user for more than 15 years, I have started to use Debian 8 on a regular basis as my main operating system, and to be honest, I am really loving it. I would like to make a request uh, from you to make a video on making partitions while installing Linux distros, especially when someone wants to use a dual uh, use dual operating systems. As you know, if you have Windows operating OS on your machine while installing Ubuntu, it will ask, uh, do you want to install Ubuntu alongside your Windows or a clean install? But for many other distros, it never gives this option. Instead, gives few partition options. As a newbie to Linux, it is very confusing for me how to partition for dual system, uh, uh, which do not harm the first operating system, which would be Windows. Please make a tutorial on this when you get a chance. I will. Uh, apart from that, will you? Uh, apart from that, will also request you to review Subgraph OS. I have not heard of that. Yes, I will take a look at it. Uh, as a newbie to Linux, I do have lots of questions that I will definitely ask you in the future. Kind regards. And again, I hope I say your name right. Tajud Din. Thank you. Uh, it's, um, it's very humbling to have a question or a comment and a question uh, like that. Uh, I don't consider myself a brilliant person by any means, but I do consider myself a, po a person that expresses myself as honestly as I can. As far as the uh, partitioning for Linux, when I get a chance I will do a video on that for newbies. That's what this channel is all about after all. But briefly, if you have to do what I call custom partitioning, in Windows, you go into Disk Management, and I have to remember this, and someone correct me if I'm wrong, but you go into Disk Management, you shrink the partition, um, create some disk space, free space as it were, uh, you reboot from your bootable USB stick, I'm assuming, to install, we'll say Debian, and I believe from there, the installer should show that free space, whatever you allotted from before, um, 20 gigs, 30 gigs, and from there, you have to format the free space into, I believe, extension 4. There are other options, but EX, EXT4 is what I use normally. And you will need at least two partitions. One is swap, and one is the main or root uh, partition, which is normally a forward, forward slash. Yeah. And that should be the way. That's all you need to custom partition. That is not necessarily the only way, but that is probably the fastest way to custom partition Linux to dual boot with your Windows operating system. I normally do not recommend you use custom partitioning. It's easy to make a mistake, uh, although it's not that hard either, but that's normally how I do it as far as custom partitioning. But yes, I will make a video and we'll do it together. All right, so that's all I have for this one. Again, thank you for uh, six years. It's been an honor and a pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. A great journey. I've learned a lot uh, from you guys, and hopefully some of you at least have learned a lot from me. Look for the next live event coming up in a couple weeks, the UK show for all of my friends in the UK. I promise to do that live event at a more friendly time, time zone that's um, friendly for both of us. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. Maybe I'll do these weekly. I haven't decided yet. Let me, let me know what you guys think. But that's all I have for this one. As always, enjoy your technology, and please don't text and drive. Be safe.